Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm going to take you through my process of blending HDR images. So let me stack my layers. Move my base layer right to the bottom and now I have dark on top, light in the middle and then my base at the bottom. So now I'm going to click blend 2. Um, blend 2 and blend 1 is almost the same but blend 2 is a bit more refined around your windows and your doors and so on. So blend 2 and now the light layer has blended with the base layer but we don't see the dark layer yet. So that's because with a dark layer I want to brush the detail in where I need it. I don't wanna I want I don't want the dark layer to go through the entire image. So on 5% flow and 100% opacity, I'm going to brush with my white paint brush onto the window or the door. So my door frame is being protected here. Mastermind members is already playing with this feature. Once they're done testing it, then you guys will be able to play with this one as well. So I'm sharing this with you because there is still four more spots of the mastermind group open. You can contact me for details on how to join the group. So I'm going to give a few clicks here on the floor. I don't want to bring too much of this detail back because there's going to be that blue, bluish color. So if I bring too much back, it's going to look weird. Just so that you don't go too far, you can just give it a few clicks. If you do go too far, you can just swap to black and then remove of that detail. Like that is too far. Too much of that. You can actually bring a bit of the ceiling back. Oh. Yeah, as well. Let's bring some of this detail in the lights. So I prefer this method um, because this this way you will do things more to your liking. The other automatic blend, which which is the auto blend, we um, I renamed it to blend external because it usually works uh, perfectly on externals, but for the internals um, you need to play around with it. So I just left that as blend for externals and then blend internal for 1 and 2. So you can still use this one for your internals. Um, but yeah, it works better on the externals. So that is if you don't want to do this brushing in of the doors and so on, then you can just use this one. So, okay, I've brought back detail in my highlights and now I want to just, just use some more of the light layer to lighten up some more shadows like here. And 
and I don't need to worry about brushing over the details in the highlights even if I go over this it's not going to do anything to the details in the highlights of the dark layer because the dark layer is above this layer so it's not going to affect anything in the highlights that we brought in so I can go over the doors and all that won't make a difference to the highlights so now I'm just going all around the lights so that's all the detail that I'm using from the highlight layer I can swap this to black and then tone down on the side a bit here bring some more darkness into the side I can also play with the density To bring up the density, if you don't have the, the properties there, then you can just click on the Refine Mask and it will bring it up for you. If you're not selected on the masks, then just click on this little icon here, or else you'll get this. Then just click on this one here. So yeah, that's basically the Blend method now, using the Blend in 2 or Blend in 1, almost the same. And then you can flatten and then just do some post processing I like to dodge a bit more I just want to even out the tones here but And then I'll do some color correction. Okay, so that's blowing out the reflection on the floor, but I'm going to create a new merge layer, set this to color and then just hide this layer and now the only change is the color and that's about it okay so now all we need to do is some camera raw some shadows, contrast bring highlights down a bit small bit of whites clarity and a bit of DAs Well, that's just roughly. Not still going to worry about doing some perp. Just wanted to show you the blend process. Um, yeah, so you can play with that. And I hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions, you can contact me. I'll guide you. Cheers.